Hey, how y'all doing? This is Dan Land Pro. We're going to do a quick tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use what we call stingers, where you're changing between your scenes and you want to change between your scenes. You just see a stinger like that. So we're going to go over that right now. Let's get started. First thing you have to do is go over to Premiere Pro while we're going to make a stinger. So what I normally do is try to stay around the five second mark. So we're gonna go and we're gonna give ourselves about five seconds to work with. And then we're gonna take our, we're gonna take our timeline out to around five seconds. I'm gonna take it out to here, which, more than, which is more than I need. I'm gonna bring in some art which is exactly five seconds, as you can see. So this is pretty much my logo. We're going to scale that logo. So I'm gonna scale my logo down so you can see it. And what I want is I want it to come out to around, uh, first you're gonna hit position right here, click your timeline, your time clock, click your scale. Now, what I wanna do is go out to about, mm, what is that? Let's go out to about, two seconds. We don't even need that much. We're going to make it slow so you can see it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this up until it just blow my screen out. And then I'm going to go back to the end right here. And then I'm going to scale this back down. But only I'm going to scale this all the way out. And then I'm going to go back to my first keyframe and I'm going to scale this all the way out. So now when I play that, we get our motion. Now I slowed this down so you can see it, but it could be faster, whatever, slower, however your timing is. So you can cut that down so you would have to adjust your keyframes, the time, the length of your uh, uh, stinger or animation or move file in order to accomplish this task. Now, once we have that established, now what we want to do is export this so we can use it over in Telestream Wirecast. So we hit export media. Now when you come into export media, you see up here at the top, I got it set for QuickTime. So in your format, make sure you either have animation, none, or QuickTime. I use QuickTime because I'm going to show you how I get my uh, uh, keyframes. So when we come down, you're gonna come all the way down here and you see where it say depth, you wanna click on right here with that alpha channel. So you wanna make sure that's click with that alpha channel and you will use maximum render quality. I use maximum, my frame sampling, you don't have to worry about none of this unless you're doing some real special stuff. Uh, we do have audio in here clicked on. So we got pretty much everything we need. So video codec, Right here, where it say animation, you see I got animation check. You can come down here and check animation or you, whatever it is you want to check. But I use animation. But I use QuickTime animation and then make sure you got that uh, depth with the plus alpha channel. Now, I'm going to get us a name up top here and we're going to say Stinger logo. Stinger logo dot move. And then I'm going to export that. It's going to the file, in card, export. So you see that file is being made. And now that that file is made, we're going to go back to Wirecast. So let's go in Wirecast. So now we can work with creating a stinger. So go up here to the top where it says switch. Click on switch. Click on manage stingers, transitions. Right here, you see I already got some stingers in here, and these are the ones if I want to edit them or use them again for something else. You see I did a logo earlier. We want to hit on this plus sign. And then I'm going to go into my end card file, and then I'm going to find that stinger that I made. So we named it what? Logo stinger or stinger logo? Stinger logo, so it's right here. We're going to hit open. Do I want to include sound? I didn't put any sound with it, so if I had included audio, I would click here, and then I could 
rate my audio as far as how loud I want it to be. In this case, now we can see that logo and see we could choose according to this parameter right here where we want that to be. So now I'm gonna click close. So we got that in. So you see where Stinger's at? I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna hit Stinger logo. So now when I have this on yellow, not this one where it says smooth, because if I change anything now with smooth selected, it's just going to give me a smooth cut. You want to click on make this Stinger active, Stinger logo. Now, when I switch between backgrounds, you're going to see that logo come up, Stinger go out. You see our alpha channel in there. Let me take myself off the screen so you can see when we switch between scenes, logo come up, logo go back down. So that's how you create a Stinger in Telestream Wirecast. And that is what we want to show you today. So there you see it, how the Stinger is actually operating. So you can make that quicker, faster. You want to make it where you can have a sound effect, a nice swish on there, a nice cinematic swish. You can use it in playlists to uh, uh, fluctuate between cameras. You can use it in so many different ways. So whether you want to use a logo, a swipe, anything that you want to use as a transition or Stinger transition can be done in Telestream Wirecast. Okay, that's pretty much it. We showed you how Stinger work, and you can do that with your logo. You can do that with your uh, anything, any type of art. So if you want to have a, a swipe, a swipe, it's just so many different ways you can put the Stingers in Telestream Wirecast, and that's one of the ways we showed you here at Video for Steppers, YouTube.com, Danland Pro. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. Till next time, peace.